question. So today, I am going to give you a story. Long, long ago, in a far away land, a land called Baghdad. Baghdad was a very rich place. It had wood, it had jewels, it had lots and lots of clothes, everything. In Baghdad, there was a man called Sindhubad. Sindhubad was a very rich man. He was tall, he was handsome, he wore these long, long dresses, silk clothes with lots of jewels, the big turban. He lived in a big castle with lots of servants. How many servants he had? Thousands, ten thousand servants maybe. Mm, he was very rich, but he was not happy. He wanted to do something with his life. So, he decided to go ship traveling. Mm. So, with a group of sailors, he began traveling into the seas. La 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 la, la 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 la. They traveled to many, many places, <coughs> many countries, lots and lots of jewels, exotic animals were there. Sindhubal enjoyed the travel. At last, they came across a peaceful island. The island had tall coconut trees, colorful birds, and fragrant flowers. But on that island, there were no sign of human beings, nor a man, nor a woman, nor a child. But the island was so relaxing that Sindhubad and the sailors decided to relax there. Sindhubad roamed around the island. He found a perfect spot. He had his food and went into a deep sleep. He woke up. He felt something uneasy. He went in search of the sailors, but <clears throat> nobody was there. They had left Sindhubad all alone on the island and when Sindhubad sat on the island waiting for somebody to pick him up. But nobody came. He started to cry. What a life I had in Baghdad. I had many servants. I had food to eat. But now I have nothing. He cried. Then he began to explore. But nobody was there to help him. But he did see something. It was white, round. It looked like an eggshell. Sindhubad sat there and soon it became dark. Suddenly he heard a noise. Whoosh! Whoosh! Sindhubad got scared and hid behind a bush. He looked up to see a giant bird coming from the skies. As it landed down the ground, Sindhubad got a mad idea. With the help of his turban, he tied himself to the bird's feet. Soon, the bird took off to the skies. It flew and it became morning. They had reached a cave. As the bird landed down, Sindhubad untied himself from the bird's feet. He looked around to see the rigs and walls. Suddenly, he heard a noise. Inside the walls, there were huge snakes. Have you seen palm tree? They were the size of a palm tree. They made Sindhubad shake with fear. Soon, it became dark. Sindhubad sat there. That cold, very cold wind blew over him. There was nothing to cover him. He could not sleep all the night with the snails around him. He shook with fear. At last, it became morning. He woke up and saw how wanted how to escape. Suddenly, he saw something in his foot. He picked it up. It was a diamond. Sindhubad was very happy. He then he looked down to see there were more diamonds. And he thought, this must be the fame diamond came. Suddenly, something fell from the sky. He looked, picked it up to see it was a piece of meat. Then he wondered again, 
travellers must drop the piece of wood in hope some diamonds would stick to it and the bird would come and pick it up. Very clever. Then he got another idea and the turban came to his aid again. He tied himself to the piece of wood, lay down. The bird came flying, thinking Sindbad to be a very big piece of wood. It picked him up, flew, dropped it in his nest and flew again. Sindbad untied himself, looked around to see somebody. Then he saw a group of travellers. He was shocked. It was the same group of sailors who had left him. But still, they were not worried about Sindhubad. Why, why are you here? Where are the diamonds? Sindhubad calmed them down and said, My dear friends, even though I had left me alone in the island, I will share my treasure with you that I had collected from that cave. They shared the treasure with all the sailors and they went back to the ship and they went back to their hometown. Now Sindhubad, was twice as rich as before.